Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Thank you so much for joining me again today. If you're watching for the first time, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at Shooting Up North. I'm on Instagram at Alliance PW Network, or you could join our Facebook group, the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. So this is Impact Wrestling News and Notes for March 11th, 2022. Not much to talk about, but we're going to start with a little bit of bad news. A little bit of bad news. Impact Wrestling, they have scored their lowest viewership since December. Uh, not good news for Impact Wrestling. Uh, this is from Fightful.com. Um, Impact Wrestling viewership is in for March 10th. According to WrestleNomics, Impact Wrestling drew 94,000 viewers on Thursday, March 10th. Uh, this number is down from last week, which drew 111,000 viewers. This was Impact's lowest total viewership since December 30th. Uh, the show posted a 0 0.03 rating in the 18 to 49 demographic, down from last week as well. Compared to last week, Impact was down 28% in total viewership. Among viewers, 18 to 49 viewership was down 28% from last week's 47,000. Uh, Impact didn't rank in Showbuzz's uh, daily top 150. Uh, this week, Impact has delayed uploading highlights um, of the episode to YouTube. Uh, Impact Wrestling encourages fans to subscribe to their Impact Insider subscri subscription service on YouTube where you can see the full episode on the platform. Uh, so not good news to Impact Wrestling. The viewership is down, unfortunately, uh, but I have no doubt it will bounce back. They're putting out a tremendous product right now. Once more eyes get on the product, um, the viewership will definitely go up. I don't know if any, um, if there was any, um, other sporting events last night that might have um, caused um, the viewership to, to drop, but uh, I have no doubt the drop, the, um, I have no doubt the viewership will increase. Uh, but once again, not good news to Impact Wrestling viewership is down uh, for this week. Uh, so Rhino was interviewed. This is also from fight, uh, Fightful.com. Uh, Rhino says, uh, the honor no more talent brings nothing but positives to the Impact product. Um, this is a quote from Rhino. Well, I don't feel too good when they're punching me in my face or hitting me with candlesticks or whatever it may be. Uh, Rhino told uh, Denise uh, Salcedo, I hope I pronounced that right, uh, but you know, some of these guys, like the first match Vinny had in Ring of Honor was with me, watching Taven and Kenny King and all these guys grow from, because I was there in the early teens, you know, like 2000 for two and a half years, and you know, watching these guys come in, they grow and they become main eventers and champions, and then to have them part of the locker room where they're not hitting me, let's put it this way speaking as a fan it's great to have them speaking of honor no more uh as part of that locker room because they bring nothing but intensity and they bring nothing but positive things to the locker room so so or to the overall product i should say uh, most recently uh rhino lost a match to sacrifice uh at sacrifice to eddie edwards the leader of the group because of interference by steve macklin um and uh, yeah, so this is um, from Fightful.com. Uh, so Rhino indicating that... Um that Honor No More, all the talent in Honor No More, uh, Taven, Bennett, Kenny King, uh, Vincent, PCO, they uh, bring nothing up positives to the Impact product. I agree. Uh, I know Impact Wrestling has signed PCO. They haven't signed the other four yet. Um, hopefully they will sign um, Bennett, um, Taven, Kenny King, and Vincent all the contracts as well. Uh, they have a Rhino stamp of approval. So um, hopefully uh, Impact Wrestling will um, give each of them a contract. I would love for them uh, to remain in Impact Wrestling. Taven and Bennett, great tag team. I can see them with the Impact Wrestling World Title, World Tag Team Titles. Uh, so hopefully, uh, Impact Wrestling does sign all of those talents. But once again, Rhino giving his stamp of approval for the honor no more talent uh and last but not least could we see the briscoes could we see the briscoes in impact wrestling uh the door is actually open uh for the briscoes to join impact wrestling um 
This is Fightful Select. It says Briscoes are not expected in AEW for now. Uh, it says don't expect to see the Briscoes in AEW, at least if word at Warner Media and among AEW talent is true. It says Fightful has been told that as of prior to the Ring of Honor sale, the Briscoes weren't planned to be signed by All Elite Wrestling. It should be stated that we're not even sure of the interest on All Elite Wrestling's part, but it was confirmed to us by Warner Media sources that a person of influence in the company did not want to sign the duo um, specifically due to Jay Briscoe's homophobic tweets in 2013. Um, Briscoe would apologize at the start of a Ring of Honor show the week after those tweets came out. Um, those um, that we heard from in Ring of Honor have said to, to the Briscoe's credit, they hadn't caused any issues for the company since 2013, since those homophobic tweets came out. Um, uh, so uh, it says, FIFO was told as of a month ago, there were no imminent plans for FTR and the Briscoes to have a match in Ring of Honor, AEW, or anywhere else for that matter. Uh, so um, while the tweets were, were absolutely wrong, of course they were absolutely wrong in 2013 uh, by Jay Briscoe. He did come out on the start of a Ring of Honor show, as it's stated here the following week, apologized. Uh, he, they haven't caused any problems for Ring of Honor since 2013, to their credit. And Ring of Honor, I'm giving them their stamp of approval on that. I'm using that... Um, I'm using that uh, line a lot today, <laughs> stamp of approval. Uh, but uh, Ring of Honor saying, uh, uh, to their credit, again, that they haven't caused any any issues for, for Ring of Honor since 2013. Uh, so as I said, while it was wrong, 100% wrong, uh, those tweets, Jay Briscoe did apologize. And I believe they even did um, donate some money to charity uh, after uh, he apologized as well. Uh, so, but... Um, because of those tweets, um, uh, don't expect to see them in AEW anytime soon, which opens the door for Impact Wrestling. Again, while the tweets were wrong, um, they apologized and uh, they haven't caused any issues for Ring of Honor. I uh, just want to point that again, point that out again since 2013. So I think it's uh, I think it's safe uh, for Impact Wrestling uh, to take a uh, take this opportunity. Um, and um, swoop in there and sign the Briscoe brothers to a two or three year contract for Impact Wrestling. Uh, to Impact Wrestling, I know we have uh, the Good Brothers taking on the Briscoes um, at the Multiverse of Matches, which should be a fantastic, fantastic match. Uh, but uh, this is this is Impact's chance to make a splash, to make some sort of a splash uh, by um, swooping in there and uh, grabbing the Briscoe brothers, assigning them to a contract. While there's no interest right now in AEW or Ring of Honor, uh, for that matter. Uh, I'm not sure if the Briscoes are still going to be a part of Super Card of Honor. That has doesn't mention that here. Um, that's that's up in the air as well. But this is this is Impact Wrestling's opportunity right now to get in there and sign the Briscoe brothers uh, again to a two or three year contract. I think they will be great additions to Impact Wrestling. Um, they would definitely hold the Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Titles. Um, I would think very 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 soon after they did, if after they debut if they do debut I should say. Uh, but um, Impact should uh, take this opportunity and go in there and uh, and um, grab the Briscoe brothers while they're still available. You know, as as BQ said, they're ripe for the picking right now. They're ripe for the picking. They should <laughs> Impact Wrestling should make a move and bring in the Briscoe brothers one hundred percent. Okay, so that's it today. I told you there wasn't much to talk about uh, in Impact Wrestling. So those are the Impact Wrestling news and notes for March eleventh, two thousand twenty-two. Thank you so much for listening to me today. I'll be back tomorrow with more news. Your notes for impact wrestling but until then thank you very much take care bye-bye stay safe everyone so long bye-bye